Hey everyone, Pay Marine here, and let's talk about the Capital Palette. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I got a medal, so pretty awesome, pretty happy with that. All thanks to this guy right here, this little nobody Alpha Legion Legionnaire, you know, or uh, I don't know, maybe as some call him Alpharius or Omega or you know whatever. But yeah, very very uh, happy with this. Hopefully. I don't know if this will focus in a little bit on him. Uh, but yeah, there's pictures on my Facebook, and I got the pictures off of the Nova Flicker um, that they do really awesome work with those pictures. Uh, got silver, but hey, you know what? I meddled. I'm happy with that. And I kind of mentioned at the end of the last video, if you did or did not watch it, that uh, pr the previous year in 2019, last time they had this, they mentioned kind of before that um, if you get if you're a finalist, uh, basically you're you're right there. Like you need to hone something, you need to work on something, and it'll get you up into those metal placings. And then uh, they mentioned like if you medal, like you get bronze, silver, gold, now you're there, right? So now you're ready to uh, compete at that next level. Go to the next next tier up um and like i said like i don't know like you know some people may be like no i'm not moving up until i get a gold and even then they might not because they just want to keep you know winning that category um that's where there is a little bit of controversy which i'll talk to in a second but like i said i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it at heart i'm gonna you know i my first year i got finalist um but did not well, yeah, so I got finalist. Uh, the next year, I didn't get anything. Um, and like I, I had mentioned in the last video, I think a lot of that has to do with, I, I honestly didn't bring my best work, and I didn't specifically try to paint something for the Capital Palette. It was kind of like, let me take these models, because I like them. They are good. They're very painted. At least they're painted well, in my, my opinion. Um, and let me take them up. And see how they do but then also because they take good pictures like i said on Flickr, they put them up on there um and it would be kind of cool to have some professionally done photos of these ones so i did and i didn't get anything i didn't win i didn't get you know finalist didn't get anything and i was i was definitely upset at the time uh but like i said like looking back i didn't like i i recognize and realize um those weren't my best pieces those weren't my you know works of art if you will um, Alfarious though right now and honestly like it could be better obviously I didn't get gold so it could be better um, big things with it I definitely know that if I, if I could do non-metallic metal I'm not saying I can't I just I just haven't I practiced it like I tried it like one time it didn't go super well I haven't really gone back to it it is definitely one of those learning curve things that I'm just kind of scared of but if I want to get super competitive at those next levels that's where I need to be at, and um, I'm just not quite there yet. Uh, but also with his armor in particular, is kind of weird because of the colors of it, and it kind of you see a lot of it has that metallic -y teal color that a lot of people do Alpha Legion in, and I'm using color shift paints. You can't really highlight or shade those as well 
without them losing their effect. And I tried to do it very subtly so there was still some somewhat of recess shading without losing the color shift effect. And I I don't know how great. I, I think I, I definitely know I lost some of it, but I tried to maintain it as best I could. Um, but yeah, honestly though, in, in my opinion, the, the, one of the biggest things that really set this piece up there and if anything, I, I think I probably would have got bronze anyway, but I think what pushed it into the silver was the Imperial Fist. And then had I been able to do at, if at the minimum non-metallic on the, like the silver or iron or whatever you want to call it trims on his armor and then left the other you know still that color shift green and teal colors that and then the spear as well like a non-metallic i did kind of a purple kind of color to it i'll try to show it up again but um if i could have done like a non-metallic purple on that and or like some kind of energy kind of thing could have pushed this up for sure um into gold i think but this imperial fist if i could just get this thing to want to focus on it i don't know it's not really focusing too well but um yeah this, i i really honestly think this guy here is what helped get me the silver um yeah so uh i have now meddled finally in the apprentice category and so i'm going to push myself into the next like i guess like I, I don't think it means like okay i need to stay in this until i get a gold to move on i'm just gonna be like do you get bronze silver gold time to move on so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna next year i'm gonna try to enter i have a few ideas of what i want to enter but again it's gonna come down to time as i've talked like work and life are priority over the hobby unfortunately as much as i would love to do hobby on all the time um, there are things I do actually love my family more than the hobby and my job is a necessity and something I can't just not do so um, hopefully there will be time to do these things I have something pretty epic in mind and therefore it probably won't happen <laughs> but it has to do with the Leagues of Votan I will give that up uh, I'm pretty excited for those models I want to get a whole army of them I know there's a lot of whatever but I'm not going to be able to uh, because I'm starting my Alpha Legion again, sort of. I say again because I've had the Terminators and the uh, Contemptor Dreadnought, Score, right? He was like a Warhammer. He was like an exclusive model. I picked him up at my very first convention ever that I went to, Adepticon, in 2016. Uh I've had Alpharius. I've had him for since he came out, and I just finally got to painting him. Um, I haven't had the whole rest of the stuff because I had a Salamander's army that was built for both 40k and 30k, and so that was my primary focus. But even with them, I have Vulcan. I've had him since he's came out, and he's not even primed. He's just sitting on my shelf built, looking at me like, come on. And the same thing with Alpharius. I was just so nervous, but, you know... With the new Horus Heresy, I was like, you know what? I want to get back into Horus Heresy. I want to get back into, like, because it is kind of the old set. Yes, they've added reactions and stuff, but it's kind of nice to do that. Because, like, for everything that 7th was and wasn't, um, it'll be nice to kind of get back to that. And, like, the idea of using templates again. And, like, it's kind of like retro gaming. It's kind of a cool thing um, that I'm very much looking forward to diving back into. And I have such a soft spot for Alpha Legion. Like, so Salamanders have been my chapter, my legion for forever. Obviously, I have my new homebrew chapter, which, if you know the back lore on them, they are very much hinted that they're all, all Primaris and that Call used all of the Primarchs gene seed and that it's not confirmed, but it's pretty much the Star Commanders are Alpha Legion. So there's like you know so i basically had like salamanders as my favorite loyalist alpha legion are my favorite traders even though are they traders are they not we don't really know but just as i dive more into it and the play style and the lore and just you know reading into uh alpharius and the heads of the hydra which 
oh, man, I want to talk about it so bad. I can't, though. I have a book, uh, my bookshelf report thing. I'm talking about that and a few short stories on them coming up. But that book was so good. And there's some stuff I want to talk about and mention, but I can't. But uh, I I love the, the salamanders because, you know, who doesn't like green's my favorite color, right? Uh, then they have the dragon head on their symbol. That's awesome. And then uh, you have that they're like the nice guys. I think they're the nicest chapter. Like they're looking out for the little guy, the, the civilians. They don't go in and just don't care about the civilian population and stuff like that. Like, you know, and I, I do, I feel that way too. You know, I, I'm, I guess I'm, my job and stuff, I'm in like healthcare and things like that. And like, I do care about taking care of other people and, and stuff like that. So kind of like in that way I related and really enjoyed them and liked them for that like they were kind of the good guys um but <laughs> the Alpha Legion I almost identify with more um and what I mean by that well, like there's like the weird you know kind of like oh yeah whatever like you know I was born a certain time of year, so my zodiac sign is Gemini, right? The twins, right? So that oh, there's a connection, right? Um, but the other thing though is just is more kind of like how they work and how they are and how they just kind of blend into the background. And for all of what it is, I've talked about this before. Like I'm not the most outgoing or extroverted person in general, and I'm often I can't I could not. I would be a rich person if I had a, a dime, a nickel, a penny for every time somebody said that they knew me, but I like we had never met. They're just there's something about you, there's something familiar or something. So it's kinda like I had that every person that every man face that very familiar, look like anybody, like I know you from somewhere, but I'm not sure where kind of thing. Um, but then also at the same time very forgettable. Like I kind of can fade in the background and just be the gray man. Like, I don't stick out in a good way or a bad way. I'm just kind of a nothing, right? I'm just walk past me and, and just assumed non-threat, assumed non-whatever, and just keep on moving, right? And that allows me to just do whatever <laughs> or listen in and be that fly on the wall kind of a thing, right? And so, like, that kind of thing in my mind is kind of like, oh, yeah, that's like Alpha Legion. Dumb, I know, but I don't know. It's just like when we when we play these legions, right? Like we want to identify, or I don't know about identify necessarily, but we want to like connect with our legion. Like you, there's a reason why you play the legion you play, right? Um, and this is supposed to be about capital palette, but I'm going on a little bit of a tangent, like I always do in all my videos. If you watch, I always like, go on these little. Choo, choo, choo. So um, yeah, I'm just like I and just reading more of these books and these lore. I'm like whoa. I don't think Alpha Legion are traitors, honestly. I they're they're not well let me rephrase that. They're not exactly loyalists either. They're playing their own game. They're they're making sure that theirs are survival. That they that their that their interests are met. Like and that's where I would say we definitely deviate a bit there. Like I am not like backstabbing people and I don't got in my way to get only what I want, which you know they they definitely do. But they definitely take care of their own. Uh and fiercely and severely will make sure that they set themselves up to where they they can you know like i said take care of their own and at the same time it keeps everybody guessing though because they also are like you know what's really going on here like where are they at like you know they kind of like no one can go full in on are they good or are they bad so i don't know i really like them i think they're uh they've really grown on me recently with all these new things to the um they're kind of my favorite. <laughs> Alpha Legion, now Salamanders. So, Star Commanders, way up here, right? You know, my number one. They're my they're my guys. They're my homebrew. I've got to love them the best. Um, plus, they're Alpha Legion anyway. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, But as far as, like, you know, a base chapter, chapters already exist. Alpha Legion, Salamanders, <sighs> Dark Angels, and then Blood Ravens. And I say that because Blood Ravens, honestly, that's what got me into the whole thing. Because I played Don of War before I played anything or painted anything or anything like that. So, um, And I had a Blood Ravens army at one point. And I still have the Gabriel Seth model uh, from 
Forge World that I did a head swap on because the head that it came with was disgusting. Um, and I I want to say it was one of the heads from one of the new tactical kits or Devastator kits or something. But yeah, it uh, looked way better with that head. But yeah, so um, the Capital Palette though. So the other thing I didn't realize, and they may have mentioned this before, is apparently there is unlimited amounts of finisher and metal of each category they can give out. There's not like a set number in each category. I did not know this. And I don't know if it's always been like that. Apparently it has, or potentially has, which I, I don't think it really deadens the competition um, because it's not, they definitely say it's not Golden Demon. We're not doing best of show or best of this category, best of this, and everybody else can go just whatever because a lot of times with Golden Demon, like the only people entering that are like the super high end, like the master class, right? They're they're entering it because they're they're at that level and it's just... At that point, we need to like figure out who it is. So, at this end of the spectrum, I guess. Um, so each model was just individually graded, and then I guess the judges or whoever, you know, they each grade, and then based on their criteria, then essentially be like, you know, we 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 think this hobbyist skills in the apprenticeship category, you know, are at this level. They're they're you know they're a finalist to maybe get into that metal contention and then be up there um, competing at the next level. And so it, when I say competing, you're really only competing against yourself. So I think that's one thing I would like to get. Like, you know, I don't know if any of them would, if I try to reach out to them, they would sit down and kind of go over the rubrics, how they how they may differ or how they may put more emphasis in one thing or the other. Because um, when it comes to like the, the apprenticeship thing right the apprenticeship class uh at that level like what are they looking for what do they they see um as you know in the in that level so basically you're competing against yourself on the rubric you're competing against the rubric and not somebody else's model so they look at the rubric they look at your model and then based on that they may have like a score cut off that like okay they met this amount of this amount of points score whatever they're in the bronze level or they're the silver level gold finalist that kind of thing. That's what I'm assuming it is, and they may take the other artist or the other judges, see where their scores are at, and then they may add them together and divide. You know, get the the average. I don't know, um, but you're competing against a rubric essentially, not anybody else, which I found interesting. Is actually kind of cool, I think, because. It's essentially you're getting a grade. You're turning in homework to the teacher and getting a grade back based on the rubric, the assignment. Your assignment is to paint a model as best you can. Um, boom, do it. <laughs> um, and then based, like I said, at those different levels, they'd be like, okay. You know, so it's like, you know, uh, let's say you take, like, you're taking a Spanish class. And you speak Spanish already, and you're in Spanish one, and you ace every exam. They're like, "Now you need to go up to Spanish two. Like, what are you doing here? Like, move on." That's what this is like. This and like that kind of like was mind blowing. I was like, "Oh, it makes more sense now." And I actually really like that because, um, like I said, you're you're getting graded as yourself. So like, this is I mean, you could as soon as I got like a B, right? You go A, B, C. We won't do A minus B plus, whatever. We'll just call it, I got a B, right? That's pretty good. That's it's better than whatever. Or maybe, you know, maybe this, I don't know, because I guess you could say all of them are passing. Maybe uh, we'll say A, A minus, bronze is a B plus, and finalist is a B. I don't know. But regardless like that that's kind of, that's what it is you're you're turning in an assignment and getting a grade back so you're either nothing which you know happens so you know well you need to like step it up you know if you want to get a, gra a grade an actual grade to take home and show your parents which yes i've already showed my parents thank you <laughs> and my wife and my kids um but yeah so uh i really like that and that really kind of puts a whole another perspective on it that I never really considered, thought of, or knew. 
So how, I guess how, I don't know how I'd consider it if I didn't know it. Um, and they may have said it before. Maybe I just didn't like really pay attention. Um, it's just possible. Um, or it may be kind of a new thing, which I I don't think it is. I feel like it's, it's just how it's been. So I really... I really like that. Um, yeah, so um, the controversy, right? Let's talk about that a little bit. Now, this is kind of where I feel like, you know, now that I've meddled, right, I didn't get a gold, but, like, I still feel like a bronze, silver, or gold means that you are ready for the next level, right? You're You're in the medal contention now at the level you're at. You know, finalists, you need to hone a little bit, stick in there until you medal. Once you medal, though, time to move up. Time to really kick up your skills and get into that next level to be competitive at the next level journeyman as in this particular case. Um, there was a lot. It's a little bit different. It's not as controversial, we'll say, now. Uh... Yeah, I guess let me let me backpedal before I even say anything. I guess it's not so much a controversy now because after knowing that you're graded against yourself, um, it's not as like you're stealing a place or a medal or something from somebody else because they are they've got their own assignment and they're going to be graded on their own work. So that's good. Um, on the, the grading sheet thing, though, it says, like, the judges can move your model up into the next category if they feel like, oh, yeah, this person this person speaks Spanish at home. They're not supposed to be in Spanish 1. They need to be in Spanish 2 or whatever, right? Um, but they, I don't think they ever do that. I, I, I don't. And I don't know why. Um, I, I think it was last year. I probably, and you probably look back and make, look for the video if you wanted to. I had, not last year, in 2019 when I did this last before, I probably made a video where I was all rampant and raving. I'm like, oh, there's these people and they're, they're cheating and they're throwing stuff in and calling themselves apprentice when they're really a journeyman or higher and they're just epic work. Because there's some apprentice work in there that were better than mine for sure. Um, I didn't stick around to see who got gold uh, because I had a class that overlapped. So I basically like went to my class, stayed there for about like 25 minutes, ran across the street because it was at the other hotel, the award ceremony waited around they got to the award single model sam warner cool silver awesome ran back across went to my class finished up the class um but uh the and they actually said they were going to post it somewhere the who won what at the probably post online or um may have a list downstairs or something I don't know um, but yeah so there were a lot they were pretty good they probably should have just went right into journeyman but when I asked one of the people they're like you know what's how does one go or basically they kind of like said that it's it's for people that are either new painters haven't painted in a long time uh, or are new to enter in their model, I guess. And I was like, okay, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Because, like, my first year that I entered wasn't, like, my first time painting, but I definitely wasn't at the level I am now. But I, I did put in my best work, and I did take some time and effort and submitted a really good model at the time. So um, to the point where I got finalist, um... And, uh, yeah, I don't know. It would, some people could have looked at that and been like, what, what is he doing in this level? But it still wasn't like that. It, like I said, it's, in my mind, this Alpharius is like loads better than my first model I put in that I got a finalist for. Um, and I'm not, I, you know, hopefully I'm not downplaying anything of the judges at that time, like, I'm still very appreciative. I I'm glad that it got finalist. I still think I, I do think it's good work, and I, but I can see why I didn't medal. Basically, I mean I'm glad it got finalist at the, at the very least, um, but I definitely can see where it, why it didn't uh, medal. Uh, yeah, so 
hopefully um, the people that entered, because like I said, I know there's some that they had to have been the ones that won gold because they were just that good. Uh, hopefully they will see that as like, okay, time to move on to the next thing. If they don't, then I just feel like, I don't know, you're padding your resume or I don't know, not padding your resume, but like, you know, why... Other than they just want to come back home all the time and be like, oh, I got another medal, I got another medal. Because, like, they just keep entering in, like, you know, the the race against, you know, two-year-olds and they're 30. I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's not that serious as far. I'm not saying, like, the other people that competed in that level were painting, like, two-year-olds. But just saying there's, like, you know, you're going to out-sprint a two-year-old pretty easily um, if you keep just doing that level work that they did and entering that level, you're going to get gold, I would assume. I don't know why you wouldn't, unless, you know, the judges are like, hey, you need to move up. If you they start recognizing this person each year coming back and they keep winning gold, I guess their name might get more known. And then that might be where, like, you know, we're moving you up to the next level. And that's where I, maybe that's when they do it. Maybe, hopefully, that's kind of the checks and balances there. Um, but I guess, really, at the end of the day, from the sounds of it, it doesn't affect or hurt other people if they don't move them up and they do stay there. All it does is just, I don't know, keep feeding that person's ego that they got a gold medal at the lowest tier, I guess. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, so controversy, maybe not, I guess, since everyone gets whatever they graded on the grade sheet. So... Um, I guess the other thing too is why like I just you know I did you know like 4-H and stuff like that back and so like for the most part I'm you don't just like you know always get a ribbon just for participating um, but there are you kind of I mean uh, uh, let me. Uh, I guess, kind of do. Now that I think about it, uh, some of the projects, unless you, like livestock, is work differently, because you're definitely competing against the other livestock there. Uh, but the um, the projects and stuff, I think those are more kind of like this. Like, you could get nothing based on your grade sheet. You're not gonna compete. Like somebody who built a table isn't going to compete against somebody else who built a cabinet. Like there was just certain grades and stuff that you would get like, you know, red, blue, just based on what your quality of work was on whatever it was you did. Um, to the point of if you got grand champion, you could take it on to the state fair and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. And it wasn't like, cause you could have multiple people in the same, like, you know, woodworking category that all made different things and there could be like multiple people that get you know uh blue ribbons or whatever which blue would be kind of like first place but then you have your reserve champion and champions and they go on to state fair the, ch the champions anyway and reserve or if the champion can't go um but there's usually i don't remember how to work on those categories I just remember in life cycles, like, yeah, there's not multiple champions. There's not multiple blue ribbons. It's usually, like, champion, reserve champion, blue, red. And I think that was it. There wasn't... They would give, like, a second place, but I don't even remember... Yeah, I think they did third. I think third, you get, like, a white ribbon. Yeah, because I remember, it was like, grand champion was purple. I'm really going off the rails here, giving more people insights in my background. Uh, but, yeah, so you got, like, purple ribbon for grand... Uh, reserve was like a pink one and it was big and fancy looking too uh <laughs> and then blue was first red was second and i'm pretty sure white was third and there's i don't i'm pretty sure third is where it cut off because essentially that's five places if you think about it so third is actually fifth um but anyway uh a, a lot of that only really mattered too especially with livestock and depending upon what kind of livestock it was if you know if it was like market animals or show animals Especially show animals, like, you get, you know, a grand champion or even, like, a blue ribbon, I would even say. Like, you could, usually you can sell them uh, for more. So, people that want to, like, breed and make more show animals and stuff like that, uh, you get a better price, basically, for them. Anyway, way inside the numbers on something a lot of people probably don't even 
care about. Maybe there are people that have, you know, similar uh, background growing up. <laughs> but anyway, so, but again, you know, that's that's this channel, right? I just kind of go off on tangents and talk about whatever. Um, and hopefully people enjoy that and for what it is. So, Capital Palette this year was a great success for me. Uh, lots of great work. Everyone submitted great stuff, and I'm also, again, very pleased with this realization that the scoring doesn't work the way I thought it was, which does sting a little bit more for the previous year back or so, 2019, when I didn't win anything, which just means that like I got a failing grade on the grade sheet. Um, but at the same time, like, oh, I guess I didn't submit my best stuff. I submitted tabletop quality, which tabletop quality isn't really capital palette quality, right? Um, yeah, and the stuff I submitted this year, I submitted two other ones that were kind of, I just wanted cool pictures of them. I knew they weren't going to be the ones to get me anything. Um, I just wanted some cool pictures. And honestly, the way they took the picture of the tyranny that I submitted makes it look way better I think it's almost like they put some kind of I don't know filter or something it looks really scary kind of like cool I don't know I really like the way that picture turned out on their Flickr um I have the pictures I'm gonna like post them up later into the my Nova album on Facebook but uh yeah I really like the way that picture turned out and then I brought my Star Commander uh trophy banner so my ancient that has a lot of trophies hanging off the banner for the uh the star commanders just as kind of you know i i gotta like put them out there every now and again so people don't forget uh that they're there that i made these awesome dudes that everyone likes to either love or hate and you know so i like to bring them up sometimes so brought him just so you can show the star commanders colors and uh just remind everybody they're out there but yeah, really happy. I I think the other thing that just really sets the, the I don't know, just how happy I am about how this uh, this turned out was the uh, the fact that I mean this is well certainly my best painted model that I have currently now. It's not the best painted model I've had. There is still one other model that I did as a commission. Let me refer to There's like two, maybe three. Three other models I did as commission. And the other thing that's kind of heartbreaking is two of those models I'm talking about were Alpha Legion. One was a Punisher tank, and the other was uh, where that Assault Claw thing is. Those things turned out so beautiful. It was hard to get those over. Um... But it got me good practice with Alpha Legion, right? So, cool. But yeah, uh, this is definitely, though, my best painted right here. And it's going to be kind of sad as I hone my skills even more and I get another model that's going to be better than this because Alpha Legion is, like, my favorite Legion. And, you know, but I... That's not to say that I can't come back and do more to this and tweak it, but I'm going to... Ugh, I... I better be like real sure of my skills at that point because I do not want to mess anything up. I'm very happy with the way it is now. Uh, the only thing, like I said, that I would do, like nothing based, the Imperial Fist, psh, perfect. Wouldn't change a thing. The only things on Alpharius that I would maybe change is non metallic metal for the silver and then the spear as well, like non metallic greenish color I get well I don't know I kind of like the way this is I, I don't know I don't know if I changed the the shaft too much because it did turn out kind of this cool metallic -y green but maybe the spear too I do kind of like a energy non-metallic purpley thing going on I think that would be the things that I would want to change um but that's it I don't I wouldn't want to mess too much more with it so um I don't know. We'll see what next year brings. I'm going to... Like I said, I'm going to try to submit into the journeyman category. But that means I need to like really kick up my game. And I, I have one 
pretty big project of mine. It's going to be a diorama. Uh, I don't know if I should enter diorama in the apprentice level since I've never entered one. So should I technically enter it in the apprentice or move it over to journeyman? I may do apprentice with that just because... I don't know. I don't know how that works. I'd have to ask if you can kind of do multiple different categories. Like if this is my first diorama, can I enter that under apprentice and then enter um, my my other one into journeyman or something like that? So yeah, um, we'll see. So the other thing though it, that I was gonna mention is I got the lion lion L Johnson this weekend um, because Dark Angels was my first army that I got and so I do have a soft spot for them as well uh, because uh, when I first started getting into it like green is my favorite color I've maybe mentioned that a million times at, throughout the channel um, and I at the time I didn't really know much about any of the lore and of course you go off of what looks cool right so I know I like space marines I knew they looked cool uh, and then I like dark angels because they had that dark green and the salamanders, why I thought it was cool that, oh, they have flamers and, like, dragon on them. That bright green that they have, I'm like, that's not very tactical. That's not cool. So you can imagine why I have such a disdain. That's, uh, really, this is the main reason why I put Imperial Fists on a lot of my downed marines and stuff. Because they're wearing bright yellow. Like, where are they going to hide from? They're going to catch a bullet every time. So, uh, so I like the idea of, you know, Dark Angels, like, they're, like, a darker green and everything and plus they're wearing robes on their armor and stuff like that's cool and then uh this symbol they had the the sword with with the wings anybody that's played halo specifically halo 2 I mean, uh, you could add a logo or like a little logo symbol to your thing there's a symbol they called the valkyrie which was a sword it had the wings coming off the sides and that was always my symbol um throughout halo halo 3 odst and then Currently, they don't have it anymore, and I think they, I don't even think they had it in Halo 5 or 4. I think it, they might have had it in 4, I don't know. But anyway, so I was like, well, cool, that Halo 2 symbol, Halo 3 symbol, uh, and dark green robes equals cool. So, um, that's where I started with, uh, and at the time, I don't even know what the starter box was when I first bought my first models. It was 5th edition. Uh, so Dark Vengeance wasn't out until 6th edition. And that's when I... So I bought my first models. And then when it was, I don't know, like a year and a half later when 6th edition came out. And then that's when I was like, you know, I want to look into this more. So then I bought Dark Vengeance and really dove into it and started playing Dark Angels. Now, I've never played Dark Angels in any kind of local event other than just friendly games when I was first getting in. But I've never actually played them in any kind of local event or anything. I don't have a Dark Angels army or anything anymore. I've way long ago since sold them. Um, so I have never had a Dark Angel model, character, or anything or army entered in any kind of like a best painted thing at an event. Or anything so um, I got the lion as you know a little homage kind of tribute to put in my shelf as you know this was my first army so why not have the first Primark right uh, or not the first Primark I should say the Primark of the first Legion um, yeah, so I, I'm tempted to have that be my project for next year. The big thing, though, is learning non-metallic metal. Because I don't think painting just a black armor and just highlights and all that kind of basic stuff isn't going to get me anywhere other than disappointment. I don't think I'll find a lot, be a finalist. at I, Like this right here, as good as I, as much as I like this, obviously it's a silver in Apprentice. It's not gold. So this would not even final in journeyman, like that's that right there. Like this, this is a non-competing model at the journeyman level, which is kind of crazy to think about, right? And again, you're competing against yourself, but like against the rubric or whatever. So this is telling me that the journeyman rubric, like, is this won't cut it in, in, in journeyman. 
Um, now it might, like I said, I tweak those things, non-metallic metal, the blade, then it, I could see then maybe, yeah, because like I said, I don't think the base and the Imperial Fist are the issue at all. I, I definitely feel like it may be even, maybe even the armor itself, the green and teal color, but that is one thing I'm definitely not going to touch because of the type of color shift stuff. That I'm not, not messing with that. No way. And I'm, I'm still, at this point, I'm not even going to mess with the other stuff. I'm just going to move on, learn what I've learned from this try to apply it to the line and his stuff can be as easy as you want it to be or as hard as you want to be because it has night lords on the base right so lightning on their armor right that can be real tricky um i have an idea on how to do the lightning i was going to do kind of almost like the the cheating a little bit with the um uh, the baby wipes, you spread it out and you do like kind of a marble effect. You can kind of do that and get kind of a lightning effect as well. Um, I was thinking about trying to maybe do that, but then I also wanted to do a green marble for the rocks and stuff that they're fighting on. Like the crumble disc, you know, green marble that would look really kind of cool. But I don't know, because again, another thing too with models, you want things to contrast from the base so things pop more and stick out so the model doesn't get lost in the base. If I do a green marble base, it might get lost in there because of the black armor and a dark green marble would get lost. So, I don't know if I do a white marble, or maybe not even do marble. But I, I feel like I need to do something again with the base to make it kind of unique and different from every, everything else. Just gray stone and then black armor, even if it's non-metallic metal armor. It could still get lost pretty easily. So I got to figure that out. And then the Night Lords and the Lightning. It's It has all the elements in it to be a standout piece for sure. Um, I just got to make sure that I can hit those things. So, all right. Well, that's it for now. Tell me what you think. What do you think of the way that they grade this? Do you like that? Do you think it should be competitive against other people? Or do you think just grading against yourself against a rubric is how... Um, maybe other places should go, you know, instead of, you know, competing directly with other hobbyists that just have a different skill set as you versus, you know, here's a grade sheet. Uh, I definitely know I've fallen victim of myself and my hubris where I've been at an event and somebody won best painted over me and I'm like, how the hell did this guy win? His shit looks like, well, excuse me, but... I thought, like, like, this shit looks like shit, but it wasn't. It wasn't shit. Like, it looked good, right? Like, it was just my own ego hubris or whatever because I had one best painted in before, and so now I think I'm a great painter. Like, I'm all right. Yeah, I'm definitely not, you know, these super huge YouTube channels and stuff that, are, like, they're just making it look easy. Like, I was trying to watch, <clears throat> again, trying to learn this non-metallic metal stuff, I've been watching videos. I'm just like, man, obviously it's going to take putting, you know, brush to model, paint on models uh, to really hone it in. But they make it look so easy. They're explaining like, oh, yeah, you just do this and this and that. And then boom, boom, boom. It's just like, okay, I've tried that before and it's not just boom, boom, boom. It's it's so frustrating. It's also frustrating when you watch the videos and because they're edits, it makes it look like no time has passed for them to build up layers or do whatever they're doing and really like it's been like five hours but it looked like it took them five minutes uh, that can be really hard and disheartening to watch uh as you're trying to learn and trying to like figure it out and then you're like why is it not working as fast for me why is it taking so long like why uh because it does it takes time and they don't they may even say it but it's still like Obviously, they can't have a five-hour long video, so it's just, like, frustrating. But, all right. Yeah, so let me know what you think. And then also, what do you think, you know, do you think, have any ideas on, like, you know, should I stick with the lion? Uh, and if I do, you know, I don't, like, how should I pump it up? Like, you know, what like what are your thoughts? The biggest thing is really the, the stone, the rock work on the base is what I'm really trying to figure out how to get that to be different and unique enough that it looks good but doesn't detract from a black armored model 
Um, and that's where I think if I can do a non-metallic metal on the armor, especially like, I think that will help it pop because it'll be like, whoa, that's non-metallic metal. But then also, uh, the base is so, I don't want it to get lost in the base, but I don't want the base to just be plain like stone, gravel, granite, whatever. It needs to be its own uniqueness too as well it's just as much of the model as the model itself right so um yeah let me know what your thoughts or ideas are if you have any i'm greatly all ears so all right well thanks for watching uh if you haven't already please hit the subscribe the like check out the links in the description below where my facebook and instagram are and take out what take a look at what i've got going on there and until next time